In a previous video, I reviewed the configuration of this FR Sky 40 amp sport current sensor and showed how it can be used with a Lua script on the Tyrannus to indicate the amount of milliampere hours left in a battery pack. I suggest you go and watch that video if you haven't done so already. What I'm going to do today is to calibrate the current sensor on the Tyrannus. I'll be checking the current on the wattmeter here, checking that the current here is the same. What I'm going to be loading it with is this uh, DC electronic load. This has a maximum of 60 watts and a fully charged pack is going to be over 12 volts. I've set it to 5 amps but it will probably end up a little bit lower than that. This thing is clear enough to work out how much power it can dissipate. So let's connect the battery up and we can see that the meter has decided to drop the current to 4.74 amps. On the Tyrannus, to calibrate the current sensor, go across to page 12, where we can see the sensor values. Move down to the current sensor and edit it. What we need to change is the offset. So obviously currently it's zero. Let's put the electronic load on. And the meter here is indicating 4.77 amps. The Tyrannus only showing 4.5 amps. So let's change the value in the field here until it agrees with the power meter, 477. Now both the Tyrannus and the power meter are showing 4.77 amps. On the Tyrannus now, if we go back to the screen here, we can see the milliampere hours going down. If we page across, we can see the voltage 12.05 and 4.77 amps. This is showing 12.04, 12.03, so everything is in general agreement. We can see here 57.2 watts, and this will give an announcement at every 10%, so when it gets down to 70%, it'll tell us that. We don't have to look at the screen when we're flying. 70% battery remaining. Well, I'm gonna leave this now probably until it gets down to maybe 25%. Then we can look at the milliampere hours consumed. Then we can recharge the battery and compare the two numbers. The alarm has just gone off on the load at the 11.1 volts and we're at 25%. So it's just over 1200 milliampere hours consumed according to the Tyrannus. Still measuring 4.77 amps and 1.25 indicated there. So the number we have is 1,238 milliampere hours consumed and remaining 522. Let's recharge the battery now and see how close we get to that number. I've set the battery up on my charger and we're going to do a balance charge at 2 amps. So now at the two amp charge rate, just flicking across, we can see the cells are well balanced. It's a fairly new pack, so all is good. We'll come back when this is terminated and see what the magic number is. The charge is completed and the results are in. We're looking for 1,239. And I know you're not going to believe it, but 1,239 is the result I got in 43 minutes. Stop that, and then what I like to do is to check the internal resistance of the cells. 5, 3, and 4 milliohms. So that's an excellent uh, sign of the health of this pack. Just checking the cell voltages there. 4.2, 4.21 on the money. So an excellent result. What I'll do is to run three packs through my glider, through the, the Bixler, and I'll post an update in the comments section.